There are also two ways in which you can make your own shortcut keys as well. The first is very simple. Firstly, you need to add the command you want the shortcut for to your quick access toolbar. And the way you do that is you click on the customized quick access toolbar up there, go to more commands. And uh, for example, I'm going to pick refresh all, which is if you've got a lot of pivot tables, very useful. Click in there, click OK. Now, once it's up there on your quick access toolbar, you can click Alt and that will give me number seven straight away to access that. So that is the first way. Secondly, by clicking, hovering over these icons, you get told what the shortcut keys are anyway. So it just so happens I've added one there. Control Alt F5 would do the job anyway. Right, the next thing is if you're doing something a bit more complicated, you can simply record it as a macro and when you hit record macro one of the things it asks you for is the shortcut key i could type and by holding down shift i can make a put a letter in so i can have control shift d for example uh, but the problem is you does it allow you to pick letters that are already assigned to other shortcuts so be very careful which letter you pick if you're going to go down this route. I've pulled together this one page cheat sheet of all the everyday essential Excel shortcuts. I'm giving this away today completely free. Just click on the link and I'll send you this straight away. Don't waste any more time in Excel. Get this free cheat sheet right now. Click the link.